Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 8 for real this time. Uh, I botched the intro last time I said it was 8 when it was 7, so yeah, that happened. Anyway, last episode, we were in the corruption, did some things, not much, because it's all blocked off, can't do anything, we need bombs, and we killed the Eye Cthulhu, so I guess that's some progress. Uh, it's nighttime right now? Nope, it's daytime, so we can't fight the Eye Cthulhu again. Um, uh, this episode, I kind of want to get a sawmill and get a bed going and put a bed in my house so when I teleport home, I don't teleport outside. That's kind of annoying. And then, probably going to go back over to the Corruption and try and destroy some of the Shadow Orbs. Just clean up my inventory here, put some of these potion-esque ingredients away. Alright, rotten eggs to the rescue. Get the heck away from my chest. I hate it, because they stand in your chest and you can't use them. Let's just put the demon light in here. Uh, mushrooms, you know what? Quick stack. Quick stack. Nothing. No point in quick stacking in here. Okay, so I'm gonna sell these blowpipes. Probably sell this sword. Seeds are garbage. Uh, corrupt seeds are garbage. I'm gonna keep these rotten chunks because we can use it to summon the Eater of Worlds later if we need to. Uh, 47 silver, I'll take it. 20 silver, I'll take it. Oh, it's over. Uh, let's just hold on to these chests. Never know when you're gonna need them. Demon Eye door. Okay. 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 Get off my chest. This is this isn't even funny anymore. <laughs> Get out of the damn house. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Bombs. Mm, we need a demolitionist before we can go blow things up. So I forget how to make the sawmill, but I think it has something to do with iron bars and chains and then wood. So what I can do is just make some chains because I'm going to need some later anyway. And go over here and talk to the the guide. The guide, you give him an item and he'll show you what you can do with that item. So, chain. Boom. Every recipe involving chains. So right there, the sawmill. Heart, can, heart lantern, that's a new item. The game just got patched a couple days ago. Uh, sawmill. See, iron, two iron bars. Yeah, so. Heck, we can go make it now. A crafting table. Hey, pick you up. First off, we need more wood. And I got this last episode, didn't even notice. It's just a melee weapon. <laughs> it's a zombie arm, but it's pretty bad. Don't need it. And we also got Light's Bane, which we're gonna need to make Knight's Edge, and then True Knight's Edge. And then the last sword is the Terror Blade. And that'll be a while. I'm sorry, Squirrel. You were in the way of my trees. It, it kinda had to happen. It's unavoidable. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, so we're getting some trees some wood, we're gonna make a sawmill, then we're gonna make a loom, and we're gonna take our spider silk and turn spider silk into spider silk. What am I talking about? Spider webs into silk and make a bed. Simple. Crafting bench. Do I not? Oh, I do have one in here. It's a pumpkin. Duh. Okay. Sawmill. There you are. Do I have enough room in here for you? I do. Okay. Now I can't open my door unless I face out, but I'll live. So a loom, 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 loom. Cool. Dryad. That's right. See, we killed the Eye Cthulhu, so we have the Dryad. She spawns whenever you kill a boss for the first time. So you know what? I'm just going to put the salt mill up here to avoid some problems. I'm going to put the salt mill up here to avoid some problems. Alright. Actually, let's get our spider silk first. Where'd I put it? Hopefully we have enough. Uh, I thought I had more somewhere. Nope. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully we have enough. I don't know. I don't remember. It's, it's like six silk to make a bed. Come on! Be enough! And be at the sawmill and... Bed, bed, bed. Yes! Alright. So what we can do with this is... Our house isn't big enough to use it. Okay, you know what? I don't even care. I'll put my house, or my bed in here. So I'm gonna move this chair. Right there. Bed, 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 bed. Boom. And now if we right-click it, spawn point set. So when we teleport, boom. Well, next time when we log in, close the game, we'll go there. Cool beans. Get out of here, bunny. Uh, yeah, I made the sawmill. I'm actually going to have to make another NPC house or two because the dryad moved in. Stupid, stupid dryad. Ruined everything. But we need the demolitionist because we're going to need more bombs to blow our way into the corruption. So that's unavoidable. Let's get some wood. Don't take that the wrong way. But yes, we need we need trees. Lots and lots of trees. And of 
unfortunately. They're all broken down over here. None of these acorns are growing. So I'm going to plant as many as I can. While running over to the right here, because I know there's trees. And start chopping them down. Alright, climb the rope. There's some date bloom. We'll use this later. Eventually I'm going to make all kinds of farms. Uh, potion farms. And we're going to spelunker potions out the wazoo. And it'll be really easy to find ores and chests and stuff. Which is awesome. So anyway, my plans... I want to get demonite armor, some demonite weaponry. And once we do, we're probably going to go to the jungle. And the jungle usually has a bunch of chests for us. I, I, I need a hook before I go, really. So we need to kill skeletons. Or find enough gems to make one. Which, I don't know which is going to come first. But once we get in the jungle, there's going to be a lot of loot chests. And that'll be helpful. Hope we find some cloud and bottles and all that stuff. I could go to the floating islands, because you don't need to go to the dungeon anymore to do that. You don't need golden keys. Uh, we went cloud... Cl what is it? Uh, shiny red balloon, lucky horseshoe. Higher jumps and no fall damage. Those are pretty important to me. I like maneuverability items. Big time. I like being able to fly dang near all the way across the large map. Really handy. Especially for boss fights. So, getting some wood. We're gonna start making some NPC house. And hopefully the demolitionist come back. comes back. Because we need him to get into the corruption. Well, get to the orbs. So, it's all up to him. He needs to get his, his button gear. You know what? I should probably spam acorns here. I, uh, I think I got saplings. Yeah, I think if they're too close, they won't grow. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. Okay. Let's see if there's any more easy to get to trees over here. Big ones. Ah, they're small. Map. Yeah. We could go explore the, uh, the, uh, the snow biome. Why don't we do that? Get some trees over there. Maybe there's some bigger ones. Alright, there's there's a few. Because yeah, we haven't been over here yet, might as well explore the surface a little bit. There'll be new monsters over here and everything. And we eventually need to hit up the caves in this biome because we're going to need a blizzard in a bottle to get a blizzard in a balloon and eventually... What is it? Bundle of balloons. Basically, we get all kinds of jumping effects in one accessory, which is really handy. Like I said, I love maneuverability items. So, just getting some wood. Alright. Clear down some acorns. It's always a pain in the butt we don't have trees, so you might as well place some acorns here and there. Ah, uh, let's bring up our map. I keep forgetting to bring that back. Tab lets you toggle your map, by the way. So, don't forget that. That might be the cave. There's usually a easy to get to cave in the snow biome. Maybe it isn't. And we can jump up walls. We are a ninja, so that's handy. See, nor we can just jump up here. Yeah. Or not. I'm not that much of a ninja. That's a penguin. That's a dead penguin. Sorry. And these trees are not really that big. I could go chop down that living tree, but that would take forever. <laughs> I think this is faster. It's the same wood anyway. So, no difference. That might be a cave. Oh, maybe not. Looks pretty small. How much wood do we got? 243. That's probably enough to make a good, good few houses. So, you know what? Boom. Now that we teleport back to our house, it makes things faster. Okay. So, let's put our wood in our hot bar. One of these acorns on our hard bar, actually. There's the dryad down there at the bottom right. She will sell us... Actually, you know what? If she sells us cur er, purification powder, we don't even need bombs. Now that I think about it. Let me, let me see if she sells it. She should. I will think it's too expensive. Yeah, alright. You know what? We don't even need bombs. A pox on you, demolitionist man. Pleh. <laughs> what we can do is turn that epstone into regular stone. And we can mine that stone. So we can get into the corruption. No problem now. So. Alright. I think that's the new plan. But first off, let's just get a few houses going. Never hurt anybody. Alright. Just getting the outline. Let's do two. Pretty boring building NBC houses because they're the same copy-paste. What you can do. 
I'm mean, sure you can make it look fancy, but I'm probably going to destroy this eventually and then make a fancy one later. So no point in going all out on these. I need four doors, two chairs, and two workbenches. Oh yeah, and don't forget walls. Walls are important. I think I threw away both walls. Oh well. That should be more than enough. Alright. Let me just start placing walls down. Simple as that. Stupid nurse. You could be you could be the demolitionist. You're so useless. All she does is heal you for money, which usually if I'm hurt enough to require a heal, I either end up dying or running away like a little girl. <laughs> so yeah. You can use her like strategically, like fight a boss over to the left or the right, teleport back to her and heal up. But that's too much of a pain in the ass for me, so I usually don't do that. Okay. Torches. Uh workbench. That's sorta of symmetrical. I don't even care. Okay. And then do this. And then afterwards we'll check just to make sure it's considered NPC housing, because you never know. You might have missed something. Might be a wall missing, something stupid. It happens. Uh housing. Suitable, suitable. So now hopefully the demolitions will move in because bombs are fun to have. But anyway, we have corruption powder. Or purification powder. Dude. And we're gonna need our building blocks. Uh yeah. Why don't we go? Over there. I don't even think we're ready for that boss fight yet. We should probably set up a little arena just because he's a very long segmented enemy and he kind of runs through the walls. And look, there's a demolitionist. Anyway, and basically you, you have to like let him pass and go under him or above him and then just keep doing damage. Rinse and repeat. Shurikens will help because they'll pierce him. Uh, if, we, if we can use our sword, that'll speed up the damage a lot too. Use like your damage or use like the arc of your sword as he passes you to really mess him up. Pretty handy. We're gonna go see what happens. If we kill him, we will get a lot of money, shadow scales, demonoid ore, and when we break these shadow orbs, by the way, we can get a musket, which is great. Great range weapon early on. And yeah, the goal is definitely shadow scale armor. So, let's, let's see what we can do. Probably gonna die. <laughs> Whatever. Sometimes these living trees can have like a bottom portion already pre-built and there'll be loot down there. Fortunately ours does not, so we might have to create a new world. It's, all you ever really get is a wand that lets you place that specific type of wood, but it's cool to have. And you can also get a leaf wand or something, so it turns, I think it turns wood into leaves, I'm not sure. But it's basically these leaves you see here. Actually no, my bad. It's the leaves you see on the tree itself, so that kind of, that kind of leaves. Duh. Don't listen to me. Sometimes I lie. It's not a purpose, usually. Like that one time I said episode 8. By that one time I mean last episode. I lied. <laughs> Alright, go away. Go away. I'm here to get awesome armor. And then kill you. Just let me do it. Okay. So, uh, yes, this was the one where we have to go down. Painter. Alright, that's a new NPC. Never really used it much. I think you can just paint blocks. Oh crap. I probably should make a demonite bow, but if we get a weapon, and by weapon I mean a gun, we won't need it. Okay. So let's light this up. That heart crystal. So purification powder, please work. Oh yeah. So now what we can do this tunnel this and the corruption will respread at least it does in hard mode I don't remember if it does in normal mode which is what we're in now and it'll overtake those stone blocks again but as long as we have it broken down enough that we can walk through we're good heaps of torches down and you don't want to hit those with a hammer they will almost kill you if not kill you you have to hit them with a pwned hammer or greater so you have to wait till it's hard mode yeah 240 health Okay, so we're gonna look for the easiest to get to or because I didn't even buy much powder. I think we should be good. Should be careful. Kill this goldfish. Taste my light brain. <laughs> yeah, there's a chest over here, so you know what? Ah 
That's where we're going. Can I fit through here? No. <laughs> Look at the boulder trap. It didn't get corrupted because it's active stones and not technically stone. <laughs> That's funny. It's not obvious. Nope. Not at all. Alright, cool. Can fit through here. And these are all demonite altars you're seeing. Or demonite altars. Demon altars. We break those later, and when we do in hard mode, they create hard mode ore throughout the world. So, you have to wait till hard mode. We'll get there. 260 health. Alright. Please be something good. Please be a cloud to bottle. Ah, it's another magic mirror, damn it. Don't need that. Regen potion will actually help us during this boss fight. And now that I think about it, I should have brought some potions, just just in case. By potions, I mean buff potions. I have healing potions. So, let's look for easy to get to shadow orbs. I'm thinking that one's priority uno. Numero uno. Alright, so. I think throwing it back might be best. And let's just dig over here. Hopefully, we can get here before we start drowning. Probably not. Have to rope our way out. Actually, maybe we can just climb our way out. We're ninjas. Yeah, we're ninjas. Got this. Keep it lit up as best as I can. We're gonna have to use two powder things just to make sure we get it. Ah, crap! There goes our torch. Forgot. Water bed. Okay. Spam flares. Grab some air. We have to break this with a hammer. Musket and musket balls. All right. So I am going to replace my my pseudo range weapon with a musket ball or musket, and that does a lot more damage. So that is awesome. Now I think the best thing to do would be to dig right. Put some torches. Take this. Go go purification powder. And in the Crimson, which is the 1.2 version of the Corruption, there's different worlds will have different versions of the Corruption. So, this or Crimson. Ancient Shadow Scale Mail. Alright! That is, that is awesome. That's way more defense. But anyway, instead of Shadow Orbs, they'll have like hearts or something you can break there. And you'll spawn the Brain of Cthulhu instead of the Eater of Worlds. I'll show you that eventually. Probably pretty soon, actually, as soon as I do this and I get Shadow Scale, basically make him easy. We will see. It's all about the gear. The gear grind. Name of the game. I like it. Some games I hate gear grinds. Not Terraria. Nope. Not Terraria. Okay. Torch. Come on, something good. Yay! I actually wanted this. Now this used to be a temporary buff and it would only last uh, a few minutes, but now it it got buffed and it's permanent until I cancel the buff. And it's basically a light that follows me. Pretty cool. Now the next shadow orb we break will spawn the Eater Worlds. So, uh, okay, you know what? Let's look for the easiest one to get to, which I think is going to be that one. But anyway, let's open this area up a little bit. Okay. Basically so I can move around, jump up and down. That's what I have to do. And we're going to put wood platforms, kind of like what we did with the Eye of Cthulhu. But first, let's just use all the purification powder we need to get to this orb, and then the rest to destroy some of the Ebstone, so we can uh, build our little pseudo-arena, if you will. A flare here that'll follow me down that way you can see nothing new okay we should only get one more purification powder to get down here yes i was right okay now i do not want to break this right away because it will summon a boss monster and you'll probably eat my face off eventually it becomes a joke and you can just summon him down here and stand still <laughs> but yeah we're not there yet taste musket Taste musket. Taste musket. Ah. Tastes good, doesn't it? I wouldn't know. Alright. I'm glad we found that. 
Oops, now we can use the rest of the purification powder to make this as open as we want. And of course it didn't hit that. Cool. So I'm just gonna kinda do exactly what I did for the iCthulhu here. Slap down some wood platforms. How many pumpkins we got? We can make pumpkin platforms too. Alright, we got plenty of wood, so we don't even need to worry about that. Cool. Just open this up a little bit. And basically we're gonna break that orb and we're gonna run like little girls over here as fast as we can. Because as soon as we break it, he's gonna spawn and come after us. And you can go through walls and stuff too. So just like that, Cthulhu. Come on, I don't wanna waste my musket balls. I do want to make sure I have shurikens ready, because we're going to need to use those. Not need to, but they'll help. Ah! Meteorite has landed! That is good news. So basically, when we break these orbs, we have a chance of a meteorite landing. Like, just randomly throughout the day or the night. And it happened. And we can go mine meteorite later, and get a space gun, which is pretty cool. Spa uh, meteorite armor, which will let us, let us use the space gun without the mana cost, which is awesome for a range weapon. So I might do that. But first off, let's get some Shadow Scale. Even though Shadow Scale is more defense, but it doesn't have that set bonus that the Meteorite has. So that's, that's cool that we got one already. Okay, I am trying to mine things here, jerk. Jerk face. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight him in this episode, but definitely next episode, so I'm just going to end the episode and then, you know, stay here and start the next one, because longer than 30 minutes is pushing it for YouTube. And usually people don't like to watch longer episodes. I do, but some people don't. Anyway, we'll build the arena, and then we'll start the next episode, and we'll kill this, this douche. We'll get him, hopefully. I won't eat my words. <laughs> Alright. We're almost open enough probably do it without even doing this, but this is just a precaution. Land it safe? Okay, so you know what? Wood platforms. Uh, take this dirt off my inventory, or off my hotbar. Make a bunch of those. Alright, so... Just lay them out. Go, go, musket. Oh, it's so good. And basically do this just so we can fall down through. You will see what I mean in a minute. Because basically he just makes a bunch of passes at you. Don't take that the wrong way. And to be able to move really quick is very helpful. Very handy. And this lets me save with platforms because you can walk over one space. I already said that, but in case you didn't see it. Everyone paying attention. Shame on you. Look at all those piranhas and jellyfish, holy. And I can't wait to go explore the jungle because we will find lots of gold chests there, usually. That'll be fun. And the queen bee, that's a new boss. That'll be cool. Wouldn't mind the bee gun early on. It's really good early, early game. That's what I had on my, my multiplayer, you know, playing with my buddies kind of thing. I was using that, it's really fun. And I think this is plenty good. So, this was episode 8 for real. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next episode. We are going to kill the other worlds. See ya!